This is probably going to be the most important Facebook ad video you watch, uh, especially if you're someone who struggled with making Facebook ads work consistently, or you just never understood why some ads are really able to scale quite consistently and other ads never take off to start with. Understanding this concept can save you a lot of time, effort, and money. And as an agency, we've spent tens of thousands of dollars and we've just started to grasp this concept. So this can be very, very powerful and really changes the trajectory that you have with your business. Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack, I'm the founder here. We are a marketing agency that helps e-commerce brands scale from five figures in monthly recurring revenue all the way to up to six and seven figures. If you had come to me just a few months ago and asked me what's the most important factor or variable that determines the success or rather failure of your Facebook and Instagram advertising campaigns, I would have probably said creatives right off the bat. Uh, one, because we really focus on creatives as an agency and we really believe in creating powerful creatives and structuring them structuring them in a way that's going to convert and that usually has a discernible ROI uh, in terms of the advertising dollars that you're spending. Now, don't get me wrong, having powerful creatives is going to be very, very important and can take converting ads into a lot better converting ads but they are not the most important factor. There's something that's a lot more foundational that's really going to make or break your campaign. The way I came about this is I started noticing that we would have some clients where we would spend tens of hours really coming up with different creatives, split testing different hooks, different copy, even different targeting, all kinds of different marketing acrobatics within the ad account. And yet we weren't seeing any discernible ROI on that. And we'd have other clients where even some of the most simple, simple creatives would still convert and uh, bring us discernible ROI and with even better creatives, we were generating two to three times ROAS on cold audiences. So what was going on here? How come, you know, the disparity in creatives were so large and yet one client was still generating better results than the other. The truth of the matter and what other agencies won't tell you is that your offer as a business is going to be the most important factor in determining the success of your Facebook ad campaigns. The offer is essentially what you're offering your customer, whether it be the product or the package that you're selling. Is that offer in demand and is it needed in the market that you're selling? If you have a product that no one really wants or is not needed in the market or doesn't really solve any problem for the consumer, um, doesn't matter what sort of creatives you're creating. I don't care if you're using Albert Einstein level algorithms in your ad account, split testing, all kinds of variables, you're really not going to be able to find success on the platform because your product is simply not wanted and needed. On top of all of this, not only do you have to have a product um, slash offer that's really in demand and the market needs, but it also needs to be the type of offer that converts quite well on Facebook. One thing that people seem to forget is that Facebook is a very, very specific selling medium. You're pretty much interrupting someone, like an unsuspecting customer, interrupting them with billboard advertising and trying to get them to purchase as soon as possible. I mean, Facebook ads only has a seven day conversion window. So only a very specific number of products can be sold within that small sales cycle. The issue with this is not a lot of people want to admit this. Most agencies will tell you that uh, all products work on Facebook with the right targeting, messaging and creatives. And that's just not true. The reason they tell you this is that either they don't know this themselves or they want to continue selling you their services and you as a business owner, as a brand, you'll get nowhere. Um, so I want to try to demonstrate today how you can think about this for your own brand and try to understand why Facebook ads perhaps is not working for you, as well as kind of demonstrate how you can start thinking of your products and your offers in a way that's going to give you the best chance of success of having profitable campaigns and being able to scale your ads. Um, I do want to shout out two content creators, Alex Becker um, and Alex Hermosi. Both of them are very, very kind of well-established business owners and break down this concept quite well. And it was very, very transformational for me to understand this. So I hope I'm be, I'll be able to relay this quite well. Okay, so what I want you to imagine right here and bear with me as I try to, de as I try to demonstrate this for you. So what I want you to imagine is this is your market right here. Whatever product or offer you're selling, this is going to be, this is going to represent your market, right? Let's just label it right here, your market. And I'll give you an example just so that this is kind of more grounded and, not, and less abstract for you. So let's say you're a skincare brand. This could be your market. It could represent women in the US aged between 25 and 45, for example, uh, that are into natural, natural beauty products, okay? So there's a lot of interest-based targeting that you can target on Facebook. This is an audience that you can reach quite easily. I mean, you can pretty much target this exact audience on Facebook. So this is going to be your market right here. Um, 
What I want you to imagine just for a second is we're able to take a sample size of 100 people from that audience. So we're just going to select a random number from that audience, 100 people, uh, and we're going to present them your offer. So this is your market right here. You're going to have your offer right here. So this is your market. There's going to be 100 people there. And then there's you have your offer right here. So this is your offer. Okay. What most people fail to understand, and what I mean by your offer in this case, if we're just talking about a skincare brand, it's your products essentially, whether you are natural skincare products, whatever the case may be, whatever you're offering the consumer, whether it be you know your moisturizer, your mask, whatever it is, that's your offer right here. What people fail to realize is with Facebook ads, you're not selling in a vacuum. So you're in competition with every single other brand out there that's pitching to that same audience. And the larger your audience and more common it is, for example, with skincare and beauty, that's a very, very big and large audience and it's a purchasing audience that's very profitable for a lot of brands brands so you're gonna have a lot of competitors so your offer is not the only one in the market that's really important for you to understand so there's another business Y there's another business Z and they're all they all have different offers and they're all offering the same market uh, they're offering okay so if we imagine right here that we have again 100 people that we we've taken from this audience and we have them in here so we have let's just put 100 people are in here and let's say there's 10 businesses that are offering their offer. So I really want you to imagine right now that there's 100 people in a room and you walk in with 10 other businesses that are your direct competitors and you offer them your product or your offering. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? So you have 10 businesses offering those 100 people. The offer that's going to dominate and that's going to win here is going to be the most enticing offer, the one that's going to be most compelling, the one that the market wants and needs the most. Um, so, for example, if one brand is just offering a gener generic moisturizer, if another brand is offering something a lot more compelling and enticing, whatever that is going to be, that offer is obviously going to dominate. And this is the exact same way that advertising works. So, if this offer right here is going to be the newest, hottest, with the best messaging, this offer is going to dominate the room. Again, if you walk in with all of your 10 competitors right here in a room full of 100 people from your market, which offer is really going to dominate? And I want you to be honest with that. I want you to look at your products and I want you to look at other products in the market. And do you really think that you, that consumers in that room within your target market are actually going to choose your product? If that's the case, then you should have no problem whatsoever with advertising because people will pick your offer time and time again. And this is exactly what's happening with Facebook and Instagram advertising. But instead of pitching to 100 people, you have 1,000 businesses pitching to 100,000 or 100 million people in a much bigger marketplace. But the principles here are exactly the same. So if your offer is simply, let's just, again, an, another example that I see often, natural, you're a natural skincare brand um, with kind of paraben-free products, and that's kind of your offering right there that you have kind of pretty generic standard products. Um, they could be nicely packaged. You know, you can have your own kind of flair on them, but it's nothing new. Natural, natural skincare is not... In at the moment, all of the brands claim to be naturally produced now. There's nothing kind of, you know, back in 2014, 15, I would imagine there was a lot less competition. So that could be a little bit more enticing. But if you're just a natural skincare brand at the moment, your offer is not as compelling as it used to be. And there are many other offers out there that are offering the same thing. So you are going to be dominated in this market right here. And another offer that's new, that's hot with the best messaging is going to dominate that room and it's going to dominate the paid advertising. So what you need to start thinking about as a business, if you have current products right now that you're selling and you're not doing that well on Facebook and Instagram, you want to think about how you can engineer your products in a way that's going to allow them to compete in a very, very competitive competitive environment by looking at what the actual market wants. And one thing that you really need to need to understand here is it doesn't matter what you want to sell, it's about what the market wants to buy. And so making sure that you look at your market, for example, with women, US 25 to 45 with natural beauty, you want to look at what the trends are at the moment, what people are talking about, what's hot, what's new. An example of this, for example, would be I've seen recently where there's a trend with dry shampoos where you have kind of the bar and you shampoo your hair directly without having to use packaging. This is something unique. This is something hot. That's something that's going to convert a lot, lot better than your generic kind of product that you're trying to sell uh, the market.
So if you do actually want to make your business very profitable with ads, what you really need to do is look at the market and you need to come up and really see if you can offer it something that's new, that's hot, and that's going to pretty much beat your competitors in terms of what they're offering that same segment of the market. Questions you can ask yourself is what's new and hot at the moment in my industry? What does the market really need right now? What's the market obsessed about? What are people talking about? And what sort of messaging can I overlay that with in order to have the best chance of success. Um, again, I reiterate this. It's not about what you want to sell. It's about what the market wants and making sure you're able to meet the market halfway is going to be really, really important. And if you don't understand this fun foundational principle, you can spend all your life in the ad account uh, doing all the split tests, hiring the best agencies to do the creatives for you, but you really, really, really not get anywhere. Um, the bottom line is this, 80% of your focus as a business owner and even us as an agency, we're changing this, 80% of our focus is going to be outside of the ad account, focusing on the business as a whole, focusing on coming up with offers that are compelling, that people feel stupid saying no to, that within the first few seconds of someone seeing an ad, they feel like they can convert um, and want to buy that product because the offer is very enticing and compelling. It's something that people want and need at the moment. So I hope you found that video uh, valuable. Again, I think this concept is really, really important to understand. If you don't understand this one principle, you really will not get anywhere with your Facebook ads. If you did enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe for more content coming soon. If you are an e-commerce brand that's making five figures in monthly recurring revenue and want to learn um, how we can help and how we're consistently growing e-commerce brands from five figures to six and seven figures a month. Um, I'll leave a booking link where you can actually apply to work with us and I'll look forward to hearing from you. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next time.